what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? A black Texas judge has been placed under arrest after police say the dishonorable judge shot at her husband's side chick. Judge Alexandra Smoots Thomas, a Harris County civil judge who is currently suspended, is facing charges after being accused of shooting at her husband's girlfriend during an argument. Judge Smoots Thomas served on the bench of the 164th Civil District Court for 10 years before her suspension last year. She's now been charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Houston police say Judge Smoots Thomas pulled up on the alleged side chick in the woman's driveway and confronted her, first by honking her horn and causing a disturbance in the neighborhood. When the woman came outside, it was on. They got into an argument, and that's when Smoots Thomas pulled out that thing and went bow, 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 let him off. I don't know if she fired three times, but it seemed like she should have fired at least three times. But anyway, uh, they didn't say the woman was hit, but she did shoot at her. Family, how many times we gotta go down this road? If your man is cheating on you, you don't get your pistol and drive to the side chick's house to confront her under no circumstances. This is a fight you will not win. You must check your emotions at the door. Judge or not, it ain't gonna work out right for you. Now, perhaps if she pulled up on the woman and the woman was in her house, inside of her house, in the bed, putting that wop on her man. <laughs> I'm sorry, fam, I had to do it. It was wide open. Okay, I'll leave it alone. But anyway, perhaps I can see somebody maybe snapping a little bit, but you don't snap to the extent where you kill somebody. It's just not worth it. My uncle did that to his ex-wife. Well, she became his ex-wife after he killed her. He was out of town on business. She had to do it in the house. He walked in, they were upstairs doing what they do. He went into one of his closets, got the rifle, walked up on him, boom. Pull that thing out and do jumped out the window, naked. And he knocked her head off with it. Did 10 years in prison. So he lost 10 years of his life. She lost her life. And he ain't been the same since. Some people are really not fit to be in relationships. And here's why because love don't love nobody. And anytime you enter a relationship, there's a chance that it might work out, there's a chance that it might not work out. And even if it does work out, there is a term limit on relationships. All relationships have an expiration date, whether by force or choice. That force meaning that, that a person decided to, uh, you know, a person, you know, somebody died. You know, maybe that's the force. That choice could be like, okay, look, I don't want you no more. And you have to be okay with that. If you play the game of love, you got to learn to take it bitter with your sweet. Oh, it hurts. Don't trust me. I'm not an iron man. You know, I got feelings too. But I know how to compartmentalize that pain, move it on around, put it on back there so I can keep on moving forward and make sure that I win. Because I'm going to tell you, the greatest form of revenge is success. You move on and you do better than you did before. Whoever that person was that hurt you, you just go out there and get you somebody better. And if you really deserve somebody better, you will get somebody better, guaranteed. 
Why would anybody want to throw their lives away over somebody who don't want them? It don't even make sense. See, I have to rationalize things. I don't want to be the dude sitting in prison. And I'm like, I'm mad. I killed her because she was a, a H-O-E or she was a B-I-T-C-H, whatever I want to call her. She was a slut, whatever. And I mean, I threw my life away for, for this, for that? Oh, no. It has to make sense to me. Things have to make sense to me. I don't want to be the dude sitting in there thinking like, man, I killed this broad and I, and I hurt her, but I also hurt myself. You know, I don't want to be that dude. I don't want to be the dude that get hurt and then mess around and hurt myself on top of that. Because that's what people most often do. They snap, they lose it. They just get emotional and they just can't handle it. So a lot of people, if you know that you can't handle disappointment in a relationship, if you know that you can't handle somebody possibly cheating on you, you should probably not get into a relationship because I can tell you in almost, well, I won't say almost all cases, but there, there is at least a 50-50 chance if you enter a relationship, it doesn't matter how good you look, how good you put it on them, doesn't matter how much money you have, doesn't matter what your status in society is. Doesn't matter how hard you love, what you do for them, how loyal you are. That person will still cheat on you because it's really not about you at that point. If you're this great person that you know you is or you think you are, it's really not about you. It's that person and their inadequacies. And so you have to deal with that. They have to get themselves together. And a lot of times, People don't get themselves together before they enter relationships. They go into relationships with baggage and pain and misery. They go in immature and they will ruin somebody else's idea of what love really is and, and what a relationship should really be about. And now this person goes out and since they all tore up, then the next several relationships they have, they don't know what to do because this one fool messed over. So now this person, some people go through the rest of their lives after getting hurt one time, they go through the rest of their lives not trusting. And sometimes they find that person who is a good person, who is an admirable person, somebody that has never done anything to gain their mistrust and they will have those seeds of doubt that have been planted and they'll use those seeds of doubt to hurt the relationship they're in with that good person that they're with. That person who ain't did no harm to them, but they're, they're not trusting. So they're jealous, they're suspicious of everything. And they take that with them in every subsequent relationship. Not a good look. If somebody don't want me, no matter how much I want them, I know the best thing for me is to break. I know it's a good thing for me to break. It may be hard for me to go ahead and do it, but I am going to do it because I know that for me, trust is a big thing. Trust is a huge issue for me. And if I can't trust somebody, I can't be around them. I can't even look at them. So I look at it like this. Knowing the type of dude I am, I know I'm a good dude. So if a woman can't see that, that's her loss, not mine. The judge should have judged her actions a little bit more carefully. This judge really, she needs to be punished. There is no doubt about it. She overstepped her boundaries. She, she stretched her authority. 
She needs to be punished. I say at least 38 years in prison. 38 years. That's a good number. Yeah. 38. <laughs> I mess with y'all, man. I don't think she should get 38 years. Probably 37. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. She needs something, man. She needs at the, she, she, First of all, she needs some anger management. And she should go to jail because she would send us to jail. If you or I did that, she definitely would send us to jail. So she needs some kind of jail time. You know, judges love giving time. They love sending people to jail. So she needs some type of jail time. And then she needs some, she needs anger management courses and perhaps some medication. That should do it. But what say you fam? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?